this here is a tower garden. It is, uh, it is uh, something that I bought that works very well for me, as you can see. On this uh, small uh, area, I have 28 plants. The tower garden has a reservoir under that holds the water with nutrients. There's a pump there that comes on 15, 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. It pumps the water up, as you can see, and then the water goes through the holes and falls back down with gravity, thus watering the roots of the plants. This system is quite amazing, and I will show you now how to do, uh, how to maintain it. And here we go. Coming back now, we're going to we're going to test the pH of the water. Okay, so. So it is recommended to put, oh, let me just clean this out properly because we, we want the readings to be correct. So we need five milliliters of water on the tank. That looks good. So. So, it is very important to keep the pH level, the, 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 the pH in the water between 5.5 to 6.5. So to test it, to test it, we have to add five drops of water. I'm sorry, I misspoke just now. Five drops of this this uh, pollution is power of hydrogen pH test. Okay, so so there we go. We added that. Uh, my chart fell. If we check the color against the chart, we're somewhere between 5.5 and 6, more like 6. So this is fine. So we will just leave it like that. That that is okay. What, but it's a little bit like the process for that. This, this all comes with the system when you buy it. And when you start that, that, that is fine and it works well. But, but I also have a hydroponic system because this in the tower garden is called aeroponic because you don't have to aerate the water because uh, you, the plant needs oxygen in the water for the plant to grow. So this system, the water goes up and then it falls down with gravity. And while it's falling down, it gets oxygen from the air and, it, and that's how come the, the water gets oxygen inside. So it's called aeroponic. In hydroponic system, you, you have to add air. You have to put in air stones with an air pump and, and in the water. So that, that's, uh, that's for the other system. So this one, you, you don't have to do that. But Coming to what I was going to say, there's a simple, what I did was I went on Amazon and I bought these two instruments. <laughs> and I think you do need this one. This one is, to, uh, this one checks the, the nutrient in the water, the, the level in the water. What I found was in the summer when it's hot, the water evaporates. And when it evaporates, the nutrient in this in the system gets stronger and if you keep adding nutrient to it you're only going to make it too strong which will burn your plants kill your plants so so what i did was i bought this to check the nutrient because i need it for the hydroponic system and then i use it for this also and it's a good thing that i did so also for the ph instead of going through all that which is fine but i just want to show you the way how I do it. Going back to the two testers again. pH, EC. EC means electrical conductivity, meaning nutrient level in the water. So let's check the pH, put it on. Remember, on that, when we did it with the drops, 
it was around six. Okay, so we're going to check it here. All you do is you insert it into the water. You wait a few seconds. And it tells me, it, tells me it was at around 5.9, so so that that's what it is. So say around six, so which is perfect. Now let's check the the EC, the nutrient in the water. You take this. And then you stick it in. You press the button at the bottom. And see, it's at 24. It, it is a little bit high. It should be around, around 2,000. So what I'm going to do next time, I'm just going to add water. Maybe tomorrow I'll just add water. And then that will lower the EC. But 24 is not bad. 2200 22000 it, it's okay so so that that's it it's so simple with these things it's it's very very simple so so you take them off i made a mistake just now i said something like 22000 i meant 2200 2000 1800 in that range it's good 2400 where it is it's okay it's not bad after using this take it off rinse it off because you don't want you know in the root system there's a lot of uh, particles so just what uh that's what i do i rinse it off Okay, so what I did was I just wiped it off. And that's it. That's it. So the pH is fine. So I can't really show you, I can't really show you how to, um, how to lower the pH. But when the pH is high, what, what, what I did was I bought a one of those little uh, syringe from the pharmacy. And depending how high it is, say for example the pH is at 7, 7.5, I will put I will put about 10 milliliters eight nine eight somewhere like that with time you will learn how to how to gauge it but it's not a big deal if it's just, it's a little bit too high a little bit too low it will normalize what you do is because the little bottle is finished and, and I have a big bottle what I do is I, I I make sure that this is completely dry because I don't want to have water in the in in uh, to go into my pH minus. So so what I do is I pour some. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to tell you what I I pour some of this into that, and then you 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 take it up, and then you take it, put it into the system, and then you use your stick and you stir it up. And that's it, and that and that lowers and that lowers the, the pH. So that's what it is. It sounds complicated, but it's really not complicated. So I think I covered everything so far. Like when you when you buy when you buy the the, the tower garden, it comes with the whole package. It comes with rock wool. Not this. This I buy in large quantities because of the hydroponic garden. But it comes with rock wool, it comes with uh, the net cups, it comes with everything. It comes with the, the pump to, to, to pump it up. And, and you, don't, you don't have to do anything. In a previous video, I did say that it comes with lights. Let me rephrase that. When you buy the system, it doesn't come with lights. Lights are available. That in the winter, 
this you can grow it in your home in your basement and there are lights that you can buy that that imitate sunlight so the plants grow so that's what you could do when you buy this it only comes to here and it's this small so me I bought two extra pieces to make it this tall okay and and because you get more for the, the same space, same effort, same everything. This is so simple. You put the water in, you keep the, the you don't even have to check the, the pH every two days, you check the pH. Then then great. I, I just I just like it. I, I just like it. I wanted to do this in my in, in at my office, but then after COVID hit and we closed for what did we close for now? Six months. Um I brought it home and I and, I grew it, and, and it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Um, winter is going to be on here. It's going to be fall in about a month or so, two months. And then maybe I'll take it to the office and I'll grow it there in the winter. You know, so some of my customers and friends that comes to the office uh, on a weekly basis, you'll be able to see this grow and, uh, and maybe I'll share some uh, lettuce and basil with you. Okay, so, so that's it for the tower garden. I, I don't think I missed anything. But, uh, so, um, so please uh, support my channel. Subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. Click on the, the notification bell. Uh, uh, share it, like it. And there are many other videos that will be coming. So that I'd like you to subscribe so that you can see of all these things that I do. So this is, uh, the, the, the name of the channel is Danny's Way. It is my way. I'm Danny. And it's my way. It may not be the right way, but it works. The, I will show you what works for me. And uh, please support my channel. Please subscribe. Thank you very much.